So imagine the surprise on my face when the host of the bus looks over and like grabs a mic for like the intercom. He's like, where's the motherfucking strippers at? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Strippers? Strippers on the, like strippers on the, this is me, 17 years old. I'm like, strippers on the bus. What are you, what are you talking about? You're joking? What's up, second channel? And uh, like I said a couple days ago, it's time to actually start uploading on this channel. I think the first thing that I really wanted to talk about is my insane trip to the Maury show. So if you don't know what the Maury show is, it's definitely like a like the Jerry Springer show where they bring people on. Like they'll be like, oh, my God, you are the father. You aren't the father type of thing. So it's in Connecticut, which is where I live at. And I had taken a trip up there. But before we even get to that, we have to get to the beginning of the story, which is just waking up and getting through the bus. And even before that, I got to tell you that this is the worst story I've ever had to tell anybody because this was the worst experience of my entire life. See, I thought it was going to be just like a fun, normal day. Go up there, be part of the audience and, you know, just be chill and things like that. But it wasn't. The more you show, they try to get the audience like obligerent, like to give them like the best reaction because that's something that they will showcase on the TV. Like they'll spin the camera around and show the audience's reaction and stuff like that. So to keep it kind of like genuine, they would get their like their audience drunk. So yeah, let's just get into the story. I'll just start off from the beginning. So it's my senior year of high school and I am, and I think I'm around 17 years old at the time. And I forgot how this even came up, but my sister and her boyfriend at the time had told me like, oh yeah, we got tickets. You just have to make sure that you can bring your ID to tell like how old you are. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. Like I'm 17. Like there should be no partying on this bus because it's going up to like a TV, like television broadcasting place. So you would think that people would be on their best behavior. They weren't. But I didn't know that at the time. So I was just like fine with it. I was like, no, what? Yeah, we can go. I want to be in the audience. I think that's going to be freaking awesome because they're going to show it, show me. And like, I'll be like, oh my God, look at that's me. And like in future shows, like, you know, it would be cool. So the morning of, I had to take the day off of school. And I had actually wanted to go with this girl that I was like crushing on in high school. But she was like, nah, I can't go, blah, blah, blah. So we run to this bus, the public transportation bus, and to go to like this uh, media place for this bus that's going to be taking us to uh stratford or Stanford or wherever like maury is hosted i came I, I forgot so bear with me so at first we're running to the public transportation bus but then we see it look like it's gonna take off like to leave us behind and it's like five o'clock in the morning at this time and we're just like oh my god they're gonna leave without us and then like we have no way to get there so we already i think we already bought the tickets at this point or they already had the tickets at this point i don't really know i think it's free to actually go up there and I think they actually pay you to go up there, which is, I guess, cool. But we'll get to the part of the story where it does not become cool. So my sister's ex-boyfriend just starts running to the bus, like full sprint. And I start running with him because I'm like, all right, let me let me like just go to the bus. And my sister is like left behind, like <laughs> like 100 feet behind. And she's just like, wait, wait. So we're like, we're trying to catch the bus and tell him not to go. So we get to the bus sweating. And we're like, oh, my God, are you guys about to leave? Because like my sister's back there and she's coming now. And he's like, no, I'm just stopped so like we can take a break. So we're waiting for people to come here. So we literally ran like a whole mile, maybe, maybe even a little bit less just to get to the bus that wasn't leaving anytime soon. So we finally get to the bus and we're finally about to take off. I'm like, all right, this must be like the worst part of the day. Everything's going to get like a lot better because we're going to be going to this cool place. You know, it's going to be fun. You know, that was just like one little minor hiccup. I'm sweating right now. Need some water. And I'm like, bruh, like, all right, I just need to relax. We're just going to go there and it's going to be fine. So we get to the pickup place where the bus is going to be at and we start to get loaded onto the bus and this guy is like, yo, let me see your ID real quick. I show him my ID and it shows I'm 17 years old. And he's like, you can come on the bus, but no drinks. I'm like, drinks? What are you talking about drinks? We're, we're like going to the Maury show. Why is there drinks? So I'm very introverted, like not very, like I'll take trips somewhere, but I'm very awkward when it comes to like people in public. Like I didn't expect any of this to happen. I didn't think there was going to be drinking on the bus and whatever else, but I was cool with it because like it is what it is. It's going to be a fun experience, whatever. So we get on the bus and remember when I said that I was going to ask this girl to come with me and she said no. So we had bought in a ticket, but she had her like spot just open. So it was my sister, her boyfriend, and then it's me and nobody. So uh, there's just like an open seat. So imagine the surprise on my face when the host of the bus looks over and like grabs a mic for like the intercom. He's like, where's the motherfucking strippers at? And I'm like, 
Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Strippers? Strippers on the like strippers on the. This is me, seventeen years old. I'm like strippers on the bus. What are you? What are you talking about? You're joking. I look back because I'm sitting in front of my sister and her ex boyfriend, and I look back at them, and I'm like, uh, are they being for real? I'm a seventeen year old kid that's introverted at this time, and I'm like, <laughs> I want to go home. So they were being for real. Like these strippers came on the bus. There's three of them, and then. There's this like group of like guys that call themselves the Ciroc boys and they made a whole music video on the bus. So going up there, they're giving around Ciroc and they're like giving out drinks and stuff like that. And they're like actually selling these drinks too. So somebody had bought one, this like heavier set lady. And we look over when you're, okay. So there's like, they're doing a music video. There's dancing. There's a bunch of things going on all at once. So forgive me if I'm all like, like messed up because there's so much happening all at once. So I literally have my headphones in, listening to some J. Cole, you know, just vibing out, looking out the window, like, bro, don't sit next to me, please. Please don't sit next to me. So we finally get there. It takes like about an hour to get there. And I look over and the person that had bought the big, like 40 ounce of like Ciroc, she was passed out on the floor and she was like throwing up too. So I was like, uh, are we going to help her? Or is she, do we, uh, or is she good? And they're like, nah, she's all right. She comes here all the time. Like she always does this. And I'm like, does this all the time. I can't even do this one time. Why am I going to do this again? So I link up with somebody that's there and he was a friend from like school. So I went through all like my elementary school, my middle school. And then I went through like some high school with him, but it's always weird because I wasn't, I wouldn't even say we were like acquaintances because I knew of him, but I never hung out with him. So I was very like confused to see him there. So I'm like, let me call him Jeff. I'm like, Jeff, what the hell are you doing here? And he was like, bro, I come here every weekend. And I'm like, what? You are 17 years old. You are the same age as me. He was like, yeah, bro, but isn't this shit lit? And I'm like, uh, nah, not really, bro. Like, <laughs> I was just about to leave. So we finally get all the way up to Stanford or Stratford, wherever one it is, whatever Ferd it is. So we get up there. There's a long line, like a huge line just to get in. Because the more show, they, they uh, record a bunch of like shows in one day. So it is a live audience, but it's not technically live, like on TV. It's all pre-recorded. So we finally get in there after like three hours of waiting. Ah, oh, that's, that's cap. There's probably like an hour of waiting. And there's this host that's up on the stage. And he's like trying to get like the audience like hyped about going into there, you know, get them pumped up. The next three people that follow me on Instagram are going to get a gift basket. And for some reason, my introverted self was like, let me just see if I can get this. So... I go, go to his page and I like it or I follow it. So this guy calls on somebody before me and he's like, come on, get your ass to the stage, get your ass to the stage. And like, he starts like dancing and shit. And he's like, yo, dance with me, dance with me. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> hopefully I don't get called. I, again, I'm introverted. So I'm like, I'm awkward. I, I, I don't know. So, all right, next one up. He's like, he like gives it a couple seconds. He's like, uh, King Bills, King underscore Bills. Is there anybody named King Bills in this in this room right now and i just like there's literally a picture of myself on the profile and i swear he saw me but i did not want to go up there so he looked at me looked at the profile looked at me because i'm kind of like far away from the stage but i could see still see like he was looking at me and he looks back down and he's like all right last chance and he was like all right forget him so i unfollowed him like very quickly <laughs> i was like uh let me just act like i never did that after that like i had lost well i didn't lose because technically i won but we move on from that and we're just waiting outside for our show to start up. So we're talking about like a drinking and driving and stuff like that. It wasn't like an actual Mori show, but it was like the consequences of drinking and driving or like abusing like drugs. It was just so awkward because now I get in there and I'm pushed away further from my sister and her ex-boyfriend and I'm sitting next to uh, Jeff and I'm like, Jeff, how do you do this every weekend? And he literally just looks at me and he's like, what's wrong with it? I'm like, bro, this is awkward. Like you don't find this weird. Like you're only 17 years old. Like, don't you have anything else better? to do on the weekend and he's like nah bro this is lit this is lit and i'm like okay i'm not gonna talk to you no more so now the showing's good we like go through our episode and then there's like another episode that we had to do and then that was it i think maybe it was three but i don't know it, it's all like jumbled up into one and i don't think they ever aired that show either which is very annoying so they offered us free pizza if we went and i was like all right bet that's cool so i was like we're going to the bus. This is like the, the home stretch. Literally, I know this would be the worst part of the, the day. The worst, the absolute worst part of the day was going home. Now, since they didn't need to be in front of an audience, they could drink as much as they wanted to. Like they were supposed, like Maury gets, gets the alcohol to get his like audience drunk. He doesn't get them like 
overly drunk to where like they can't like comprehend stuff or like they're fighting in the audience after that they're like all right we're gonna pass around the Ciroc blah 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 let's down it let's let's finish this up blah 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 and they're giving us pizza too so I'm like all right I'll just take a slice whatever so I took a slice of pizza went to my seat and then there's still like the open seat next to me now these strippers are drunk and they're just walking around the bus and I'm like oh no so this stripper's like oh I gotta go to the bathroom blah 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 because there's one bathroom on the bus and it was all the way in the back so the driver had like had to swerve or like hit something or I don't know if he swerved or if he hit something but he definitely did something to make this girl like fall and she falls in the seat next to me and I'm like no so like I'm listening to J. Cole right now and like I look over all right this is gonna get like some essay type of stuff like sexual assault type of stuff so just a trigger warning for anybody that did have to deal with this I think it's like a, a story to me but obviously this does affect people and uh I don't mean any like harm towards it so this is just my experience with it she like literally looks at me and then starts rubbing my leg and I'm like I look at her and I'm like nah nah I'm all right I'm good I'm 17 I'm underage nah so she gets up and I have my headphones in so I can't really hear anything so she gets up out of the seat walks behind me she's like nah he's gay he's fucking gay and I'm like I, I can't hear anything so I'm just like listening to music and she's like they he doesn't want a piece of me he doesn't want a piece of me nah there's something wrong with him he gotta be gay so I didn't know any of this until I got off the bus and my sister and her boyfriend told me I'm like she said what and they're like yeah that's why we thought you were getting red I'm like no it's just I just get what red that's I literally got touched by this woman that I don't even know they're like yeah she was calling you gay on the bus and I'm like what <laughs> because I didn't want to like have her touch me that's not me being gay. I was just being awkward. It was so bad. Like that day was just so bad. Uh, the Mori show, fuck Mori. He's like a dick. Like he literally gets his audience drunk just to go on the air. And then he just like, he doesn't care. It's just like the whole entire drive back was just so bad. I thought the worst part of the day was going up there because like you don't know anybody, but definitely the ride back. The ride back was horrible. And that was probably the worst like situation i've ever been in in my life to a point where i can like say it and like joke around about it this does happen to people and it does affect them for like a while so i'm sorry that if you did experience anything of like like on this like type of caliper so i'm sorry yeah the mori show is pretty bad um if you live in connecticut try not to take the party bus to go there just go there on your own accord take your own car um you'll avoid a lot of a headache and years of being introverted even more because of that experience well if you enjoy the story time it's very fun for me to say it and but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully it'll be a fortnite video but if not i have a bunch more stories to tell you guys so thank you so much for watching and watching this uh, video for like 10 minutes so thank you and i'll see you in the next video a little side note after this i never saw jeff ever again after this little like trip that we took so, uh, Jeff, if you're seeing this, and I know your name's not Jeff, but if you're seeing this and you uh, know that I'm talking about you, sign into the DMs. I miss you, bro. It was like a hard experience for both of us. And uh, I know I haven't talked to you since like high school, maybe before high school. But like, yeah, just slide in my DMs, bro. We can talk about our trauma. Fuck it.